You are listening to Now That's a Good Question, a podcast series powered by Sook, where changemakers from across the world answer your queries on sustainable lifestyle. After all, it's not just good on you, but also for the earth. Hi everyone, I'm Rithima Pandey. I'm 13 years old and I'm a climate activist. I filed a lawsuit at United Nations on the Child Rights Committee with 15 other child petitioners, including Greta Thunberg, against five countries to protect the child rights. I've been also mentioned in BBC's 100 Most Influencing and Empowering Women's List. Welcome to another episode of Now That's a Good Question, powered by Silk. And in today's episode, I'm going to be answering a few relevant questions on the topic that's close to my heart. How can youth help fight climate change? Let us start with the episode with the very first question. What inspired you to take part in the fight against climate change? I have witnessed the implications of climate change pretty much my entire life. I know it's been only 13 years, but you get the drift. Let me share what exactly encouraged me to take part in the fight against climate change. So go to 2013 Kedana flash. When the flash flood occurred, my mom was watching everything on television. My dad went at Kedana to rescue the animals with his team. And I was sitting next to my mom trying to figure out what basically was happening. After seeing the destruction, people and kids crying that they lost their family members, I felt really bad but scared at the same time. And I asked my mom what happened. Then she told me about flash floods, and from then on, flash floods, thundering, cloudbursts became one of my biggest fears and nightmares. And after struggling mentally with the nightmares of dying because of a flash flood or losing my family because of it, I decided that I will stop flooding and asked my parents that why the Kidana flash flood occurred and that was my first time then when I came to know about climate change and global warming, and that's how I started my journey. Let's move on to the second question. Have you experienced any challenges while working towards restoring the planet's health? The road to climate justice hasn't been an easy one, and I did face my fair share of challenges. Some of them were learning things like It was a little difficult to research exactly what I wanted to learn or to understand what I really wanted to do. Also, it was really very difficult to have people support you, your cause, and it was difficult to convince them that it's their mistake and they have to take actions to protect our biodiversity and to tell them that it's not our youth's responsibility, but it's that we are compelled to fight for the ecosystem and for our rights because our future depends on it. I've also faced a lot of criticism online. And to be honest, it was a little tough to deal with. And lastly, sometimes my financial problems do become my barrier. Like I wanted to do a project, but I didn't have enough money to invest in it. Or I had an event and it was, you know, an important pivot and could have made a bigger impact on people, but I couldn't afford it and a lot more to be honest. That was a good question. Now let's check the third question. How can youth take part in climate activism? When united with the same cause, the youth has the power to make governments take strict measures to save the planet's biodiversity. There are various ways in which the youth can take part in climate activism. They can take part in climate strikes, sign out online petitions. They can have their own petitions as well. And living a sustainable life could be a thing. They can also educate their communities. They can help indigenous and poor people to raise their voices. And to be honest, whatever they can do will make a difference. It's just that we should have the will to start. It's always great to share my thoughts on how the youth can bring massive change on Moving on to the fourth question. What are some of the movements that you are actively involved in? Well, there are many causes that need immediate support and attention. I try to raise my voice whenever possible. I have been actively involved in saving Thano Forest, 
in the withdrawal of EIA draft 2020, in combating air pollution, water pollution, in saving the Ganga. I've also tried to be involved in with Fridays for Future. I have been also involved in various plantation rides, different event talks, etc. I really hope that there comes a time when we young people can live freely without worrying about climate change. Until then, we will and have to do our part. And there comes the fifth question of today's episode. Can you tell us some simple ways in which young children can help lead a sustainable life? Sustainability is a way to go, and I believe a sustainable life can be led by reducing their carbon footprints, saving electricity, water, switching towards recyclable, reusable, and zero-waste products, having a sustainable fashion, and basically every single step that you know people will take for the betterment of our environment and for our planet will always be the best step. Moving on to the last question. One question about climate activism that made you go, now that's a good question. That's an interesting question. The question about climate activism that made me go, now that's a good question, would be simple yet meaningful one. And it could be a game changer depending on the way you address it is the question that why is it important for youths to take action or to be part of the movement or to be a climate activist itself? Thank you so much for tuning in into this episode of Now That's a Good Question with me, Ridhma. You can follow me at Ridhma Pandey Y on Instagram and at the rate Ridhma Pandey 7 on Twitter. Join in next Friday with another change maker. See you. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week with another segment of Now That's a Good Question, powered by Sook.